Taking a look at today's equity index futures markets, let's look at the NASDAQ 100 futures as they're moving higher today. NASDAQ 100 futures recovering from yesterday's selling pressure to trade back up towards the top end of the range for the week, just off the highs that we did see for the year, which was about a week and a half ago, but up about 2% on the day at 15,860 as we move towards the close. And we look at some of the driving factors. I think there's a few things here today. Number one, economic data this morning indicating that inflation continues to moderate. PCE data, uh, the Fed's preferred measure of inflation came in in line with expectations. So I think that that was viewed as a positive. Couple that with earnings announcements highlighted today by Intel, which is reacting positively to the earnings. And overall, we've experienced some pretty strong uh, reactions in the tech sector to those earnings announcements, which have benefited the NASDAQ. Looking at the general trends, uh, NASDAQ uh, showing some relative strength today when you look at the other major equity index futures markets. After yesterday's selling pressure, we're seeing all the major equity index futures markets recovering today, but the NASDAQ futures up about 2% here as we move towards the close. With the uh, small cap city Russell futures up about 1.4% uh, as we move towards the close. And then looking at the uh, S&P up about 1%, so the NASDAQ up uh, twice as much as uh, the S&P today. And then the Dow futures up about 80 basis points today, or just uh, over three quarters of a percent. So recovery today after yesterday's selling pressure, uh, some moderation in inflation expectations contributing, I think, to the upside we're realizing in the NASDAQ futures today.